am Dr. Madhit Khanna, Senior uh, Consultant Orthopedic and Joint Replacement Surgeon at the South Mumbai Unit of Bokhad Hospitals. Today, we want to introduce you to an exciting new addition uh, to the technology that we have for performing total knee replacements, partial knee replacements, as well as total hip replacements. And what we want to showcase today is uh, the Striker Makoplasty instrumentation system and the Striker robot. And we just want to take you through to what the whole system entails and what and how it really helps improve patient outcomes and give better results. So the entire Mako unit is composed of three units. The first and the foremost is the robotic arm. So as you can see this, this big machine, the Striker Mako robotic arm that allows us to have a very controlled cut at the desired level that is pre-decided on a CT scan and planned beforehand. This is accurate within 0.3-0.2 millimeters. So the chances of us making an error while making a cut is almost negligible. The other part to the Mako system is the camera. So what we have here is the camera unit. And the camera unit, as you can see, also has a screen attached to it. The camera captures the patient lies here. There are special arrays which the camera identifies. And with those connection between the patient and the camera, we are able to reconstruct a 3D model of the knee into this console which you see here. We already have information fed into the brain of the entire system which is the console here uh, which has a pre-operative plan already made for a particular patient but we don't rely only on the pre-operative plan we also capture dynamic information which means as the surgery progresses which is recorded by the camera here and displayed to us on the system here from here on we use both informations the informations specific to that patient that was recorded on the patient CT scan which means a personalized plan for every patient plus we also have something which is dynamic which means if we record some alteration during the surgery we are able to pick it up between this connection and make necessary adjustments into the planned surgery and make corrections for any minor errors that may exist prior to the plan. So in a nutshell, the Mako Striker Robotic System, one of uh, the best methods to perform a knee replacement is not just the robotic arm, it's the robotic arm that we have here and uh, do you want to just, it works pretty seamlessly but the robotic arm is, is free to move in various planes and automatically adjusts itself to a position so that we can get the best cut. Um, besides the robotic arm, there is a camera that communicates with the patient at every possible moment in time and then we have a brain where we do all the planning and whatever we plan here is executed by the robotic arm with the help of the surgeon so the control is still with the surgeon. Also one more point that I want to add which is very very limited uh, in a number of robotic systems is the fact that it has haptic technology which means it has technology that makes sure that we do not go out of the defined boundaries of the cut which means the haptic technology which is unique to the robotic uh, to the striker robotic system allows us to preserve soft tissues and reduce any chances of damage to the soft tissues of the patient while performing the surgery.